This is the all new show band in America. I'm the shadow band man. And I'm saying I offer a different mindset when it comes to news, religion, hip hop, and politics. And I need you to hit that like button. And I'm saying, make sure you leave your thoughts on this topic. Now, listen, I was just looking on the news, right? I think it was NBC sports. And I saw a track star. She's a runner. She's a track star. No, um, I saw a track star by the name of Shakari Richardson. She had a massively dominant performance in the women's 200 meter, right? And, you know, she got interviewed and she just was, she just was speaking in a way that was very respectable. Now, of course, she had a lot of, she got a lot of flack um, last year because I guess she wasn't what people expected. She was faster than people expected. Her personality was not what people expected. And then, you know, she looked like this. And, you know, the most disrespected woman on this planet, especially in America, is a black woman. So she comes from a turbulent background. And a lot of times people who come from turbulent backgrounds, they're not given proper education. Oh, man, man, shouts out to Grand Poobah. He had a song a long time ago called Proper Education. They should check that out. But um, they're not given the proper education. They're, they're neglected through the social system. However, they are punished excessively through the social system. But I got on to say I'm so happy that it seems as if she's got her situation together. She like, it seems like she on the right track and I'm wishing her so much success because I'm telling you, man, she has so many haters. She got people who are just doing nothing, but wishing that she was not as successful and not gaining the exposure that she's gaining right now. You know, so I'm hoping that we build up this positive momentum and I hope that she just put on and just do as great as she needs need to do. And I hope she just becomes as successful as her talent can be. Now I know that sentence wasn't as great as you want it to be, but I hope that she's as successful as I want her to be because I want her to have much success. I want all the success in the world for her because there's so many people rooting against her. Listen, we have raw talent. And a lot of times when you are, when you look like this or you're black, people, they see your talent, but they don't see you. So I hope that she gets seen in a different way. I don't want them to just see her talent. I want them to see who she is as an individual because people are, they're just not one dimensional. There's so many different layers to who you are as an individual. Even you, there's so many different layers to who you are as an individual. And a lot of times people hate her and they don't even know her. You got what I'm saying? They don't know her, but they don't like her. They just massively don't like her because you know, she don't talk the way they want her to talk. She don't dress how you want her to dress. And a lot of times we don't fit your mode of what success is, but we're still successful. And that's why we're so hated. See, we're the most resourceful people on this earth. Even when you give us all types of lemons, guess what? Yeah, that's right. You know what we make? Look, we are always given a bad hand and we always capitalize and maximize on that bad hand. And a lot of times it creates resentment and jealousy because sometimes when you give a group of people all of the bad that you can give and then they're still good and they're still loving, it makes people angry. 
Because you got to understand this. Black people, African-American people, African descendants, Negro people, Negroid people, Necro people, whatever you want to call them, people that look like this, darker, you know, who came from that gigantic continent filled with so many different countries, you know, who, who that eventually came from tribes and things of that nature who were transported here in the holes of ships. Listen, we are living a dream when you only wanted us to live a nightmare. See, they wanted us to be nothing but servants in this nation. And even though we had horrible beginnings in this nation that they called the new world, the new colony, United States, etc., even though we came from these horrible beginnings, guess what? Still shining. And what's crazy is they try to kill your where you really come from. They try to really kill that. They don't want you to know where you really come from. And when I say they, I mean you. Anyone who's working against the establishment of progression, of cohesion, of unity. So when I say they, they don't have a specific gender, ethnicity, color, because they are the people who don't want you to succeed, even when you come from nothing. They wanted us to be an egg dropped from 20 feet. And with nothing but tennis balls. The resilience within us as a people is beautiful. And that's what I see when I see Shakari Richardson. Now, I hope that I pronounced her name properly. If I did not pronounce her name properly, understand this. You know what I mean. <laughs> Shadow Band. <laughs>